here and was able to speak with families who have been displaced and are out now in this bitter cold. Rick? Karen, they are huddled inside the clubhouse. Here. People from the Red Cross who are on the scene to try to assist them in this terrible situation with temperatures in single digits. They heard a loud boom between 1 and 2 o'clock this afternoon. One of the units went up in flames with a large explosion. People grabbed what they could. It was not just the building that exploded, but several other buildings were evacuated as a precaution. All those people remain out of their units at the present time. Some people were wrapped up in blankets earlier or sleeping bags, whatever they could use to keep warm before they could get a spot inside. We spoke to several residents of this complex. I was getting ready to get something to eat, and I heard a big boom. So I came out and the whole side of the building was blown off, man. And you know, people out here screaming, everybody's running around and stuff. People remain out of their units and are probably going to be taken to hotels for the night. How long they will be out of this complex remains to be seen. Excel Energy is present. There is speculation that this might have been caused by a gas explosion. Live in Westminster, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Rick, Karen, thanks very much. Well, of course, keep you posted as new information comes in. Now, just yesterday, we told you about another explosion not too far from today's scene. Crews did find human remains in the debris of a home on Knox Court. A neighbor's doorbell camera captured the moment of that blast. The investigation into what happened there still underway.